If you're struggling with sugar cravings and looking for effective ways to curb them, fear not. Sugar, particularly in its refined and added forms, can have several negative effects on your health when consumed in excess. Here's what consuming refined sugar can cause. Weight gain, increased risk of heart disease, tooth decay, type 2 diabetes, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, poor nutritional intake, increased risk of certain cancers, mood disorders, accelerated skin aging. So today, I'm giving you a three-step plan to conquer those sweet temptations once and for all. As usual, please don't forget to read the medical disclaimer, and here we go. Step 1. This step is all about understanding why we crave sugar. Our bodies love quick energy sources, and sugar is one of the fastest. When we consume sugar, our brain releases dopamine, the feel-good hormone, creating a cycle of craving more. But it's not just biology. Emotions, habits, and even certain situations can trigger cravings. To combat this, start by identifying your sugar triggers. Is it stress, boredom, or maybe fatigue? Keeping a food diary can help you spot patterns and situations that lead to sugar cravings. For example, you can enter into your food diary that you're very stressed because you didn't exactly handle a situation as well as you should have either at school or work. Put down the sugary treat you ate as a result. Now it's actually wiser to just refrain from resorting to eating a sugary food, but you get the picture. Understanding is the first step towards control. Step two, gradual reduction. Going cold turkey on sugar is tough and can lead to withdrawal symptoms like headaches and irritability. Instead, start by cutting back slowly. Swap out one sugary item a day with a healthier option. For example, trade your mid-afternoon candy bar for a piece of fruit or replace sugary sodas with flavored water. It's all about making small changes that add up over time. And don't forget to read labels. Sugar hides in many foods where you least expect it, like bread, sauces, and even salad dressings. Becoming a savvy label reader can help you make smarter choices. Step 3. Our final step is finding alternatives, even if it's one at a time. Once you start cutting back on sugar, you'll need to satisfy those cravings somehow. Luckily, there are plenty of delicious, healthy options. Natural sweeteners like stevia or monk fruit can sweeten your coffee or tea without the sugar spike. For snacks, try nuts, seeds, or yogurt topped with fruit and a drizzle of honey. These alternatives not only satisfy your sweet tooth, but also provide your body with essential nutrients. And here are two pro tips. Incorporate more protein and fiber into your meals. They help stabilize your blood sugar levels, keeping those cravings at bay, and gradually stop eating sugary beverages. This is the most common cause of weight gain. Remember, it's not about perfection, but progress. Small, consistent changes can lead to big results over time. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more health and wellness tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.